Chicago House we're looking at started out as a, as a modest 1940s farmhouse and has really grown from there. How do we experience that as we approach the front of the house? Well, it's important to know that the approach now is very different than the original approach. We've added a circular driveway, so now you can enter from either side. Uh, the uh, clabbered uh, portion uh, that is opposite the original garage, um, that's the west end of the property, uh, was original. However, uh, what we did is we added a little uh, smaller piece uh, to the far end of the house, uh, which uh, proportionally we feel uh, is just a, a nice even step down from these uh, original uh, volumes of the original uh, farmhouse. The back of the house has seen a, a really dramatic uh, recent change with the removal of, of what can only be described as an unfortunate 1980s addition. Tell me a bit about that and how you've reconfigured the back. Well, the 1980s edition was essentially uh, a giant cube um, that had some uh, diagonal uh, windows on the sides. Uh, it, I guess, very emblematic of its time, uh, and it contrasted the original architecture. So we added uh, a volume where we took the design clues really from that uh, clabbered or wood-sided portion on the facade where the dormer windows break the eaves and um, the gutters and the details uh, were all sort of taken uh, as clues from the original facade. So you've, you've replaced that, um, that, uh, that uh, 1980s edition, and then have you added another piece correct. as well? The, correct. There, there are really two pieces that were added to the home, uh, one facing the backyard and one facing the side opposite the garage. And both of these pieces uh, had uh, lower roofs, uh, lower eave lines, uh, that were uh, like the minor portions on the facade. With a project like this, much of the success um, comes down to, to incorporating the details um, into the final result. So w what are some of the key details that you incorporate when, when you were reworking the back of the house? Well, a couple of things. Um, the first thing we did is we took some clues from the front, such as the stone uh, on the original uh, portion of the house. Um, we tried to match that blend as carefully as possible in the new fireplaces. Also, the original porch had some nice columns on the front, although they had to be redone, and we dressed them up a little bit. We added a, a, a bit of a layer uh, of, of finesse to those columns, and then we took those, that same column design and we added that to make little pavilions uh, on the end of the addition piece that faces the backyard, as well as on the garage end. Uh, with windows from the kitchen uh, and a new porch uh, at the garage end so that these two pieces of the building uh, tended to tie uh, the whole building together with these sort of little pavilion pieces on all of the ends. 